Hey boys, we're back with the uh, Rabbitohs now, so let's have a look at one of my more favoured teams. I really like the Rabbitohs as, as a team overall, so let's have a look. And we got Greg Inglis with a 92. A 92, that's... Seems a little low in my opinion. Yeah, it seems a bit low. I mean, last... What did we have last time? We had Kevin... Uh, not Kevin. Michael Gordon with a 91. Like I said, I like Kevin, uh, pfft, I keep saying Kevin, I, I like Michael Gordon as a player, but I think Inglis is a touch better than Michael Gordon. Yeah, I think this is a little silly. 92 should be higher, that's all I'm going to say. Should be, yeah. I mean, it's hard to say it should be higher, because Thurston should be way higher, and then Smith should be higher, but Inglis is, yeah, should be higher, like mid-90s. Then we got Alex Johnston. Uh, 73 is pretty low for an international player. Uh, he played for Australia on the weekend. And he was good. He was solid. Nothing special. You know, obviously in a not a good debut. I'm not gonna talk about that game. It was it was a very it was a very disappointing game, honestly, but you know, Johnston was solid. He didn't make any mistakes, but he didn't do anything like there was not it's hard to really judge a winger because they can only really do what's in front of them, and what he what he had to do, he did pretty well, so. And for the Rabbitohs, he's been very good. He's a try-scoring machine. 73 is too low. I'm looking at the speed stat here, 75, like, he's one of the fastest in the game. 73, way too low. Should be higher. Dylan Walker, 83. I feel like this is a bit low as well. I don't know if he's going to make the New South Wales side. I know he's been, he's had a few injuries lately. And I felt like he should be, I feel like he should be in the New South Wales side, but I don't know, I don't know how New South Wales are going to go. Like, he didn't, Walker didn't play in the city country. Uh, I don't know if he's still injured. I know he came back. I know he, he got injured, he came back. I think he got injured again though, so who knows? Who knows where he's at at the moment, because I'm not... I'm not like looking at the news while I'm doing these, so some things could be wrong. But yeah, 83 is probably a bit low. I'd, I'd have him like mid to high 80s. He's a. I like watching him play. He's he's sort of a bit like Michael Jennings in my opinion. He's sort of got that same acceleration and agility. But yeah, Bryson Goodwin, 81. Uh, I'd say that's about right. Goodwin's a pretty decent player. I wouldn't call him a game-winning center, but he he's pretty good. His defense is really good, and he can set up some pretty nice tries. He, he's probably he's probably more of a defensive center than an attacking one, but yeah, 81 is probably about fair for him. Then we got Joel Ready with 83. I think this is a bit high. Like he's a f he's a bit of a fringe player in my opinion. I think Rabbitohs. If they had a better winger, they would put him in instead of Joel Reddy. But, you know, Reddy's done some... He's been around for a long time now. He's done some pretty good things, but yeah, I would have him like mid to high 70s. Then we got Luke Keery with an 80. Yeah, it seems a bit low. Uh, I mean, this is the Queenslander that New South Wales wants so badly. <laughs> And he's an 80, so... I don't know. Uh, I was a bit iffy on him to start with, but... I don't know, he's shown this year that he can really... He can steer a side around and... He's not really daunted by anything. For a little fella, for a young fella. He's a tough, he's a tough little fella, and... He gets in there, he... He runs the ball at the biggest fella, he tackles the biggest fellas. I mean, his defense is probably his weaker part, but... He, it's not too bad. His defense isn't too bad. I'd have him about mid mid 80s. Then we got Adam Reynolds with 82. This seems too low. You know he. Like I don't know if he should. Again, I don't know if he should be in New South Wales halfback. You know he's been, he's injured, so it doesn't really matter. I'm pretty sure he's. If he was in contention, he's he's no longer because he's injured. But if he if everyone was fit. I don't know how you'd rate, like, Pierce, Reynolds, um, Hodkinson. 
I probably have like, I'd probably say Pierce, Reynolds, then Hodkinson in that order. But Reynolds, it, it's hard to tell because he's got such a good forward pack and there's such a good team around him that it's hard to tell how good a player he is by himself. But you know, he 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 steers them around. He he's a good goal kicker. He's got a lot of good traits. So I'd say it's a bit low, probably mid eighties like Luke Keery. Then we got George Burgess, 75, really low in my opinion. Like you could argue, I know, I know with the New Zealand test, uh, New Zealand Australia test match, everyone was talking like Bromwich is the best forward in the game and Matt Scott is like second. But you could argue like George Burgess is the best front row in the game, honestly. Like the amount of impact he provides, the amount of meters he eats up and his defense is good. 75 is really low. I'd have him, you know, like most of the other good front rollers, about 80, 82. Yeah. Isaac Luke with 90. I agree with this, but this makes it even more ridiculous that Michael Ennis was a 90. Like, <laughs> like obviously Smith, best hooker in the game. And then it's like, then you got like Luke... Isaac Luke, I, I don't know, I'd probably have Luke as the second best. I know I said with the Panthers I'd have Seguiari as the second best, but seeing Luke now, I'd probably have Luke as second best, and then I'd have, like, Farah and Seguiari together. I don't know, it's hard to judge, but Luke is, in my opinion, the second best hooker in the game. But apparently, Michael Ennis is just as good on this rating system. Not bloody likely, Isaac Luke is a beast, he's... Such a good player to watch. He's so tough. Yeah. Really like Isaac Luke. Then we got Dave Tyrrell, 72. I just agree with this 100%. For some reason, <laughs> for some reason he's black in this picture. But yeah, David Tyrrell, I don't know. Never been a fan. Don't think he's that good. Glenn Stewart, 88. Uh, I don't know. I'd say it's too high. I feel like for the Rabbitohs this year, he's actually been pretty good. But for Manly the last couple of years, he, he just wasn't, he fell away badly. You know, they were talking him as one of the best back rolls in the game a few years ago, but the last couple of years, he's been pretty poor for the Manly. But as I said, he's been pretty good this year. I still feel it's a bit high. I'd have him like mid 80s, low 80s, that sort of range. John Sun with an 87. I can agree with this. You know, he's a pretty versatile. Again, he's a versatile player. He can easily switch, uh, slot into that 5-8 role if Luke Keery or Reynolds gets injured. And he's got a lot of talent. I feel like Sun is maybe... I don't know. It feels like he should be better than he is. Like, he's such a big man. He's got a lot of ball skill. Like, he, he's a front row. He's, he's a massive, massive person. And he's got the ball skills of a 5-8. Of a but he just... I don't know if it's because he's soft or he just, or what, but he just doesn't seem to get into it as much. He doesn't put his body on the line as, as he should, in my opinion. But 87 is probably it, right? <laughs> then we got Chris McQueen, 72. I agree with. I don't think he's that good. And I'm going to be annoyed when he gets picked for Queensland this year because I'm a Queenslander and I don't really like McQueen. But yeah, that's all there is to that. <laughs> You know, he's decent, but I've never been a big fan. Then we got Tom Burgess, and I mean, you'd obviously say George is a better, has been better than Tom Burgess, but like again, this year, Tom Burgess is starting to really pick up where probably like Sam left. Um, yeah, I'd have him way higher. You know, he's starting to, he's starting to um, mature a bit more, like... He's starting to be like George Burgess. You sort of just got these two battering rams coming at you one by one, and then one goes off, the other comes off the interchange. It's, it's pretty scary stuff to have both of these fellas in the same team, so I'd have Tom Burgess a lot higher. I feel like both of these should be higher. <sighs> then we got Jason Clark, 78. I don't, yeah, that's probably about right. You know, he's sort of that backup player. He's, he's good, he's solid. Doesn't make too many mistakes, doesn't do too much. 
special. You know, he doesn't set up too many tries, but he, he doesn't make too many errors. So 78 is probably about fair. Then we got Chris Gresmill, who, you know, he was a fairly unknown player until pretty much the All-Stars game where he, he played for the Indigenous side and he was excellent. He was excellent. He was like one of the best players and people were like, well, who the hell is this guy? Where's he come from? And this year he's been excellent. He, the last game I saw him play, he was, I think he won man of the match or he was pretty close to winning it. I think he's Queenslander. I think he is, so he could be a bolter for Queensland this year. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure he is Queenslander. But yeah, he could be a bolter for Queensland. I feel like he should be a bit higher. Maybe like 80. Not too much higher than 80 because he's still... He's very inexperienced, but... Good player. He's got a lot of potential. Then we have Ben Lowe, who... You know, he, he's good. He's, a, he's another one of those guys that... Solid player. Nothing too flash about him. I think he's a better player than Jason Clark, honestly. I'd have Ben Lowe ahead of Jason Clark, but... Yeah, all of this seems pretty right. Rabbitoh's team seems pretty good. Let's look at the jerseys. Home, alternate. Okay. They only got two jerseys here at the moment, but... Yeah, that's the... That's the... Rabbitoh's done and dusted. Not too many more to go, but yeah. Thanks, guys, for watching. See you guys next time.